bought my first Harley and wasn't happy with the way it looked, so I pulled it down and stretched it, made a few custom parts for it. People saw the bike and they said, can you make me one of those swing arms? So I made a wide swing arm, started making fuel tanks and fenders, and before I knew it, I had a little hobby business. Danny Pellegrino is an artist, but instead of paintbrushes and an easel, Danny works in metal and his art pieces are exhibited on the streets of Melbourne. At one stage I could count on my hand how many bikes, but now it's a little bit beyond that. Everything's got to be one of a kind and I treat them all as a work of art. I will start with a template, I'll make it out of cardboard, I'll stand back, have a look at it, trim it up a bit, make steel templates out of it, then start TIG welding it together. They're all original parts and all handmade. So yeah, you can't buy any of them off the shelf. Danny has been invited to show off his world famous chopper at Custom Lane Gallery in the city. This is the third year. It's the first year I've entered. It's all custom and old school bikes from around the country and it's not judged or anything, it's just the bikes are on display and people get to enjoy them and have a bit of a look and chat with the builders. We've got around 16 odd bikes on display, maybe more, with bike related art. So um, most, of the, most of the bikes are home builds um, or guys that do it professionally, if they do that, it all has to be handmade. <laughs> to see people enjoying the art of custom bikes.